Hey guys, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another vlog. It's been a while since I did a vlog, but I thought today would be the perfect day to do a vlog. Today I'm hiking to a relatively new spot. It's a creek um, with a bridge over it. And I've only fished this spot one other time. It was last year, and I didn't do any good at all. But since then, um, uh, some friends have fished it, and they said they actually do pretty well here with bass and stuff. So, we are going to fish it and see what happens. And it's also raining. We're getting ready to rain. Here she is, guys. This is the place. Looks really nice, actually. Quite deep. As you can see there. Really good looking spot. Let's see if we can catch some fish. I'm excited. Hopefully the rain doesn't bother us too much. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Okay, now it's raining really hard. Or harder. I don't like that at all. Hopefully it passes. Oh, there's one. As soon as they hit the water. All right, guys. Woo! First fish of the day. Not a huge fish, but it's a little bass. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. And now the rain's actually coming down. Now that we're starting to catch fish, of course, because that's how that's how the rain always likes to to work. Fantastic! Ah, oh, goodness sakes. So check this out, I got this waterproof cover over my camera to protect it from the rain. And I got the GoPro on so we can still keep fishing. Super nice. There's another one. Wow, that was instant. <laughs> Instantaneous. They're not very big, but they sure fight good. Look at that guy. Wow, another tiny little fish. Micro bass. That is a micro bass, guys. Cute little things, though. So initially I was throwing this little crankbait right here, just a little, um, what is this thing, a little crawfish, that's the word I was looking for, a little crawfish crankbait, but these fish seem very active, so I'm going to switch up to a little popper and see if I can get some topwater action, because that would be really fun. Let's just tie on this little popper, we'll see what happens. Crushed it, guys. That's a better fish too. Look at that. <sighs> that was so cool. I just saw him come and slash this. Almost got hooks in my hand. That's a little better fish, guys, right there. Hammered that popper. That was amazing to watch. That was awesome. Goodness, guys, check this out. This is hilarious. Look at this. Look at the size of this smallmouth. Okay. The popper is literally, I'm not kidding you, almost as long as he is. And yet he was still munching on that little popper. Cute little thing, I'll tell you that. Very cool. All right, so I've thrown a popper at him and we've gotten a couple of fish. We've thrown the crankbait at him, gotten a couple of fish. Now I'm going to try a teeny little finesse jig right here. What? I just had a bass explode on my jig just as I brought it up and it scared the living daylights out of me. Okay, so I've been throwing some fast moving baits and I'm getting some luck, but I've been noticing that some of the bigger fish in here are shying away from the fast moving baits. So I'm going to hit them with the old classic right here. The wacky rig. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's got it. We're on. Ooh. The wacky rig strikes, guys. Not a huge fish, but I'll take him. I will take him. Beautiful little guy. So much fun. There we go. We're on. Oh, it's a better fish. Looks a little better. Ooh, hey bud. Hey bud. 
Okay, about the same size as the last one. Another smoking little bass, guys. What's funny, I have to wait a decent amount of time to set the hook because they're just gnawing on this worm. Fish guys, that is the one I was looking for. A way better fish. Here, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a better fish, guys. That is the fish I was looking for. That's a decent fish, guys. I don't care who you are. It's a beautiful little fish. Wasn't really expecting this size out of this river, but there definitely is some bigger fish in here. Like that guy. Mm. Smoked that wacky rig. Let's get the release on this one. Alright, so I've been fishing this one spot uh, pretty heavily, and I think it's time to switch locations. We're gonna go down here. And by down there, I mean down there. So, let's hope I don't fall or die. I dropped the camera in the water, because I've been having a habit of doing that recently. It's a decent bass right in front of me on the cone. See if I can catch him. Better fish, he's not cool. Oh, yeah, that's a better fish. For sure. It's a decent fish, guys. Another beautiful little largemouth. That was really cool. He was right in front of me in the current hanging out. And I threw my worm in there. He choked it. Yeah, I do a little bit. That guy I was talking to said when he was younger he used to come down to this exact same spot and catch pike or muskie. He couldn't remember which one, but he said he used to catch them out of here all the time. And he also said I should not eat the fish out of here because apparently there's some power plants buried under a golf course that leak oil into this river. So, definitely not going to be eating any fish out of here. As you guys can see, there's some horses upstream that are making quite a mess of the water. So I think I'm going to call it a day, but guys, I had a great time out here exploring a new location, catching a decent amount of fish and some surprisingly big fish for this small body of water. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and be sure to check out my last video by clicking right here. Thanks guys for watching and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.